Welcome back to God Maths. This is where mathematical literacy begins. Today we will look at likely examination questions on matrices. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more interesting maths lessons. Given the matrices A, B, and C, we are going to evaluate A times C and then the inverse of B times C. So AC which is A times C is a matrix A times the matrix C. And in multiplying matrices, we multiply the columns in the second matrix by the row in the first matrix. So row times column, that will give us 4 times 2 plus 6 times 1. Then row by the next column give us 4 times negative 1 plus 6 times negative 2. Row by column will give us 2 times 2 plus negative 3 times 1. Then row by the last column will be 2 times negative 1 plus negative 3, negative 2. And this will be equal to 8 plus 6 is 14. Then Negative 4 plus negative 12 is negative 16. 4 minus 3 is 1. And then negative 2 plus 6 is 4. So this is A times C. And then the second one, we are going to find the inverse of B times C. So we must first find B times C. BC will be equal to the matrix B1001 times the matrix C21, neg1, neg2. That will give us row by column. 1 times 2 plus 0 times 1. Row by column. 1 times negative 1 plus 0 times negative 2. Then row by column. 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1. Row by column 0 times negative 1 plus 1 times negative 2. And this will give us 2, 1, neg 1, neg 2. Note that when the matrix B is multiplied by any other matrix, the result is going to be that matrix. And so we call matrix B an identity matrix. Now let's find the inverse of B times C. The inverse of any matrix is 1 over the determinant of that matrix times the adjoint of that matrix. And the determinant is given by the product of the leading diagonal minus the product of the minor diagonal. This will give us negative 4 plus 1. And that will be negative 3. Then the adjoint of a matrix is when we interchange the positions of the leading diagonal. So this comes first and the other one comes here. And then we negate the values in the minor diagonal. So negative of negative 1 will give us 1. When we negate this, we have negative 1. And then our inverse is going to be 1 over the determinant times the adjoint is negative 2. This should be 2 when we interchange the positions. So negative 2, then we have negative 1, 1, and 2. This time this will give us 2 over 3. This time that will give us 1 over 3. We are doing scalar multiplication. This is negative 1 over 3 and then negative 2 over 3. You can refer to our lesson on the inverse of 2 by 2 matrices for more clarity on this. Let's take our second example. 
In our second example, we are going to find the value of x such that the determinant of this matrix is equal to negative 7. So let's do that. The determinant of the matrix is the product of the leading diagonal, which is 2 times x plus 1, this product, minus the product of the minor diagonal, which is negative 3 times 5. And the determinant is equal to negative 7, as given in the question. So 2x plus 2, then plus 15. Negative, negative is positive. It's equal to negative 7. And so 2x is equal to negative 7 minus 2 minus 15. 2x will give us, this will be negative 24. We divide through by 2. And we have x is equal to negative 12. We we'll take our last example in this lesson. In this example, we want to find the value of x for which our given matrix scale has no inverse. If a matrix has no inverse, then it simply means that the determinant of that matrix is equal to 0. So we will find the determinant of Q and equate it to 0 because Q has no inverse. So given the matrix Q has this, then the determinant of Q is equal to product of the leading diagonal minus product of the minor diagonal, which is 11, 6 plus x. This will give us negative 7x. This will give us negative 66 minus 11x. Then the determinant is equal to 0 because the matrix has no inverse. So we will have negative 7x minus 66 minus 11x is equal to 0. Let's group like terms is equal to 66. 66 has crossed to the other side, so it becomes positive. Then we will have negative 18x is equal to 66. Let's divide through by negative 18, negative 18. So our x is equal to this will give us negative 33 over 9. And that will be equal to 3 goes here, negative 11 over 3. And so this is the value of x for which matrix Q has no inverse. We will take one question as assignment for this lesson. Try these questions on your own. If you have any extra difficulty, you are always free to contact us via WhatsApp on the numbers given in the description. Before you sign out, remember to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends. See you in our next lesson.